In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a deck of flashcards for Anki from any Bible passage, chapter, or book. I'm working on my desktop PC in Windows 11. You're really going to need the desktop version of Anki to do this operation. I don't think you're going to be able to do it on a mobile PC or on a mobile phone or tablet. The program that we're going to use to get this done is eSword, which will create a text file that will output in that we can read into Anki that will do all the verses. So we don't have to copy them, paste them one at a time. eSword is a great Bible study tool. You can find it at e-sword.net. And the great thing about it for this operation is we don't have to write a script or do anything fancy. It's already capable of outputting the verses in the format that Anki would like to import. So this is eSword. The first thing you want to do is choose your translation. If you want the King James Version, you'd come here. I'm going to use the ESV. If you need other translations, go to Download Bibles, and you'll find others there. Some of them do require a purchase. Next, we're going to choose the, the passage. Now, I've been asked to create a deck for 1 Thessalonians. So I'm going to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 because I've already done the other chapters. And I'm going to move my mouse over here to the first verse, right click, which will bring up a drop down menu from which we want to select copy verses. This will bring up the copy verses window in which we specify the start and the end passage that are going to go into the text file. So it's already in filled in 5.1. Since we want the whole chapter, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and choose verse 28. Leave these tick boxes unchecked and make sure the format is number one. We also need to change the reference delimiter in this section. So remove whatever is there. And we're going to have just one ending delimiter. We need a symbol that's unique that won't be found in the Bible, so I use an equal sign. That's going to allow Anki to see the difference between the address and the verse content. So when all that's right, click copy, and that will put the data into the clipboard. Now I'm going to open Notepad and paste the data there so we can make a text file. So we go to Edit, Paste. And now there are all the verses. And notice down here, there's a blank line. Anki will actually give you an error for that. So I just hit backspace to take it out. And then the cursor ends up at the end of the last line. So we have all the verses in first desk five here. And now we need to save them as a text file on the system. So save as, choose the folder where you want to store it and give it a name. I'm going to call it the first Thessalonians. Five, and I put Anki just to remind me of why I created this file. Now, there's a very important drop down on this requester called encoding. It has to be UTF 8. That's what Anki likes, and nothing else will be guaranteed to work. So, once you've configured everything correctly, click save. Now we have a text file, and we're ready to go to Anki and import the data. So, fire up Anki, and we're going to use the import file operation, which you can do from that button, or you can come here to the file menu and select import. Find the folder where your text file is and select it. The drop down here should say tabs or text separated by tabs or semicolons. That is the one we want. And then open that file and you'll get the import window in Anki. Now we're going to need to make some changes over here. I have a type that I use called Bible verse. If you have any of my decks, that note type will be imported into your Anki. If not, you're need, going to need to choose a different type. Choose basic and reverse card. It will also work, this one here. We also need to choose a deck. So click here and it will ask you to choose one of your existing decks. However, we want to make a new deck. So click on add and type in the name of your passage or chapter or book and then it will update this field now over here where it says field separated by we need to change that to 
an equal sign because that's what we use. So instead of colon, I'm gonna put an equal sign here and it will show field separated by equal. This field is correct. It should say import even if existing note has same first field. That way, if you have other flashcards that have the same verse, you'll still get a complete set with this passage. When all those options are set correctly, the field mapping should only show two fields. If there's more or less than something went wrong, because of my note type, they are mapped to address and verse, but if you use the basic and reverse card, it will say mapped to front and back. Once everything is correct there, click on import, and it'll get, it will tell you how it, the operation went. This is where you'll get error messages if something went wrong. In this case, 28 notes were added. That's correct because there are 28 verses in first test five. So everything went correctly. Close that down and your new deck is ready to go. There it is, 1 Thessalonians 5. Now, what I do once I have all the individual chapters is I create a new deck to be the top level deck, and that will be the entire book of 1 Thessalonians, and then drag and drop all the other chapters into the master, uh, the top level deck. That way, it's you can uh, collapse it. You can also study individual chapters one at a time, or you can do all verses from the entire book by using the top level one. So let's quickly look at our new deck, 1 Thessalonians 5, and hit study. There's verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. So it's working. And that's how you create a deck of flashcards for Anki quickly from an entire passage, chapter, or book in the Bible. Here's a helpful tip for you. After you've used your new deck for a while, the cards will start to come out of order, but there's a way to get them back in order. I'm also going to show you how to get just one of the versions of the card instead of the reverse. So it will always ask you for the verse address and you supply the verse content. Let's look at our deck that we just created, 1 Thessalonians 5. If I start studying now, it's going to give me, first of all, it's going to give me the content and ask for the address. And it's no longer in order. We got verse 6, we got verse 5, we got verse 8. It's helpful when you're learning to continue to receive them in order and only do the verses in one direction. So I'm going to do that by creating a filtered deck. Go to the Tools menu and select Create Filtered Deck. I'm going to give it a name, First Thess 5, in order. And the search field should have the name of the deck filled in if you were just using it. We want to eliminate this term and instead put and card colon one. And yes, the double quotes are important. In the card selected by dropdown, choose order added. That way they'll come to you in the original verse order. And make sure this limit is at least as many or more than the number of cards that you're going to be filtering. Finally, uncheck this box, reschedule the cards, and leave this one unchecked as well. When it's all good, click on the build button, and it's now ready to go. So if you go back to the decks, you'll see this first S5 in order. That's the one we just created. And if you go into it and study, we'll get the verses in order. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. When we come back to that and rebuild it again, it will always give us the verses in order. So click rebuild and we'll try studying again. And here it is again, five, one, two, five, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera. And also notice it's always going in one direction, prompting you with the address and giving you, asking you for the contents. It will never go in the reverse direction. So that's how filter decks can help you out. Hi guys, here's a quick video to show you how to get Anki flashcard decks on your mobile device, like the Bible books that I've been posting about. I'll be using a Samsung phone that's running Android 12, but these instructions should still be helpful to you if you have an Apple device. You should find similar options, but 
probably in different places. So we want to launch Anki. It's right here on the desktop. So go ahead and click on it and it will open up. We want to be in the default view, which in this version is called Dex. Down in the lower right hand corner, you'll see this plus button for adding cards or decks. We're going to click on that and we want the option that's called Get Shared Decks. What that will do is go out on the web and find all of the decks that people have shared, including the ones that I've shared and everything else that's available for Anki. So click on that and it will take you to the web page. This is ankiweb.net and it has uh, categories, but we're just gonna go to the search box. So go ahead and click in there and I'm gonna type T-H-E-S-S -S, to look for the Thessalonians deck that I just created. There it is. It's the only deck that has First Thessalonians or, or, or mentions it. So we're just going to click on that name and it will take you to the page for the deck. It has information such as the description, some samples, but we want to scroll down to the bottom or find this download button because that's how we're going to get it onto our device. So go ahead and click on that button and it's going to either prompt you for a name or it will just download it automatically. Notice the extension .apkg. This is an Anki package file that's formatted for Anki. So let's go ahead and select download and let that come on down. Now there's an option to open it and you should be able to open this as, an, as with any other file and it will be associated with Anki. However, sometimes those file type associations get corrupted. So I'm going to show you how to do it directly from Anki, which will always work. So let's go back to Anki. And this time we're looking for this overflow menu, which is in the top right corner, the three dots on top of each other. So we're going to click on that menu to open it up. And we're looking for the option called import. There it is. That's going to import the .apkg file, the Anki package. So let's click on that one. Now it's going to take you to a place where you're asked to select the file. You want to find that, that file that we just did before. Look in places like downloads or recents, wherever your downloads typically go. So I'll click on the name of that file and Anki is ready to import it. I'll say add. It imports it 178 cards for the deck First Thessalonians. So here you see it is. We can collapse, expand, we can start studying, and it's ready to go. So I hope this helps you. Happy memorizing. I hope this video has been a blessing to you. If you found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. I want to give a shout out to the adult memorizers of scripture over at BibleMemoryGoal.com. I'll put the links in the description box. There's a community there that of people who are involved in scripture memory that I just got involved with. So it's great to find other people who are doing the same thing. As I was saying in my other video, the buddy system is helpful when you're memorizing scripture. That's all for now. See you next time. God bless.